My goodness, remarkable on so many levels. That's nightly news for this Wednesday. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. Please take care of yourself and each other. Good night. The Austin street takeovers showed us people hanging out of moving vehicles, some nearly hit by drifting cars, others set on fire. Tonight, understanding the reasons people participate. Making sure first responders can get to people in need as quickly as possible. The new fire and EMS station coming to a community that needed more support. And the hottest day of the year by far, but a cold front is coming in first warning weather. Well, we keep learning more about those arrested after the street takeovers last weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Mudin. And I'm Jennifer Sanders. We're also getting into the mindset of some of those involved. Here's Jayla Washington. A complete street takeover at intersections across Austin. Cars doing donut holes, popping fireworks, a group of people even charging a police vehicle. Court records now reveal some people involved even set fires that caught several bystanders on fire. Yeah, it's just a different level. It's mainly been a new wave lately. You know. This former street racer. He says he didn't take part in last weekend's street takeovers in Austin. Yeah, I wouldn't want to partake in anything like that. But that car meetups and street racing he's done is just rebellious fun. The fact that street racing is illegal, it puts a thrill, technically breaking a law. That what makes it fun for most people. New court records show APD found Brian Javier Serrano Benitez at a gas station near downtown on Sunday. Officers arrested him after tracking his car. Many of the racers came in from out of town. One woman from Houston reached out to us after our reporting, saying she recognized one of the vehicles. She tells me that racer is known for organizing these meetups at Houston with big crowds. Hundreds. Sometimes you see girls hanging out the windows, you know, on top of the cars. It basically, they all get out of control. Another out-of-towner, Jerry Antonio Gore from Dallas, actually sped off when a DPS trooper initially tried to arrest him. That's according to court documents. Officers say Gore drove faster than 140 miles per hour. When they arrested him, they found a stolen short barrel rifle on him. And they need to get a hold of who's, who's organizing it. It's unacceptable. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And in Fort Worth, city officials there have said that an ordinance that outlaws watching street racing, a direct step taken to contain the chaos there. Before the street takeovers here in Austin, the group congregated in Sunset Valley and had an interaction with police there. You can hear what the police chief there had to say about how they treated the group coming up tonight on KXAN News at 10 o'clock. And going in depth right now, new laws have been put in place to crack down on reckless driving after multiple street racing incidents incidents and takeovers across Texas cities. Back in 2021, the Texas legis legislature passed Senate Bill 1495 and House Bill 1315, and these laws bumped up certain 